Let's restring your guitar. Before you get started, there's a few things you're going to need that are going to make your life easier. First is something to prop up the neck of the guitar. Anything will do. Then you're going to need a peg winder. That's going to be used to loosen and tighten the strings. Next, wire snips. We'll use those to cut off the ends of the strings when we're done restringing. A tuner is also super helpful. We prefer a clip-on tuner that goes right on the headstock, but any tuner will do. Sometimes a polishing cloth is great in case your guitar needs a little wipe down while you're restringing. And most importantly, you need a set of strings. Let's start by loosening the sixth string on the guitar. That's the lowest string, the E string. We'll use our peg winder and we're gonna turn towards the body of the guitar. You can hit the string to know if you're going in the right direction. Once you've got the string very slack, you can use the peg winder to also pull out the bridge pin. There's a small notch on the edge of the peg winder that lets you do that. Slide the peg winder onto the bridge pin and pull straight upward. Next, we're gonna remove our string from the guitar. Unwind from the headstock. You can coil it up and just set it aside. All right, on to restringing the guitar. First thing we need to do is grab our set of strings. We're gonna suggest doing one string at a time when you're starting out. It's gonna be easier. Most string sets have the gauges and the string name on the package, so you can make sure you're using the right string. Again, in this case, we're gonna use the low E. We're gonna take the ball end of the string and put it into the hole on the bridge. The next thing we're gonna do is take our bridge pin. There's a small slit in the bridge pin which you want facing the headstock of the guitar. Insert it into the hole in the bridge, hold down with your thumb, and pull straight upward on the string. Next, we're gonna slide all the way down. Another thing to make sure is that this hole on this post is facing parallel with the guitar. So when you run your string through it, it'll run through like this. Pull the string all the way through, and then pull back just a little bit. That's gonna be just enough to give you one clockwise winding over the top of this post. Next, we're gonna tighten the string down. Be sure that you're keeping a little bit of tension on this end of the string, otherwise it'll slip off the post. Now, because we wanna tighten the string, we're gonna to wanna to turn away from the body of the guitar. On a headstock like this, the lower three strings, the four, five, and six string, are gonna turn away from the guitar. The one, two, and three string are gonna turn towards the guitar to tighten. So let's do that. You can also use this finger to help guide your next windings underneath the previous winding. What will happen is this string will get pinched between those two windings. You don't want to go too tight, so this is a great time to use your electric clip-on tuner. Next, we're going to use our wire snips. Be careful not to cut any of the other strings, but make a cut as close as you can and just snip it off. Be sure to remember these few things. When you're winding the lower three strings, the four, five, and six string, the clockwise winding goes over the top counterclockwise on the one, two, and three string. You wanna make sure when you're done that all of the strings are winding down the middle of the headstock. Next thing you wanna do is bring your string up to pitch. You can use your fingers to tighten the string because we don't wanna to go too far. Now we'll repeat that process with the rest of the strings. And that's the basics. That's how you restring your guitar.